This is Aline from Javelin, playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2014. This video is not as much a tutorial as it is a tease for my friends who are still using SOLIDWORKS 2013 or even older versions of the software. When you create a model, the first sketch is very important because usually it defines the overall size of the model and its overall shape. And in this video I'll show you how SOLIDWORKS 2014, which is on the right of my screen, does the first sketch so much better than SOLIDWORKS 2013 or any other version of SOLIDWORKS. So allow me to sketch a um, structure member profile, a custom structure member profile. And maybe it's going to ha have a C shape. Allow me to use uh, a center line, and I'm a big fan of infinite land center lines. And allow me to define this center line as being the reference for the dynamic mirror operation. So whatever I'm going to draw on one side of the center line is going to be automatically either doubled or mirrored on the other side. So this is done. I'm going to do the same thing in 2014. Uh, the workflow is pretty much identical. And as you can see, I'm getting roughly the same shape. Now is the moment where things become really interesting and different between 2013 and 2014. So allow me to dimension this. Notice I didn't pay any attention to the scale of, um, of whatever I drew here. And I know that this line is supposed to be 4 inches. So in 2000. 13, the moment I type 4, notice how the whole thing jumps all over the place. So the line becomes 4, but now in order to see the whole thing I have to zoom to fit. And if I want to keep going and dimension the rest, now I have to zoom in this area, I'm going to make this, I don't know, let's say 2. Again, the whole thing jumps out, I have to zoom to fit again, um, maybe add another dimension here, this is going to be something, and this is not really productive. I'm wasting a lot of time doing this. Now let's see how this is being done in 2014. I'm going to dimension again this line, and I'm going to say this is going to be 4. Now what 2014 is going to do, it's, it's really a thing of beauty. It allows me, the moment I click OK, it's going to, obviously it's going to resize the line, but also it's going to scale the other sketch entities on the, with the same proportion. Moreover, it's going to resize the viewport in such a way that whatever I'm going to see uh, is going to have the same proportion. So let's see. It's a thing of a uh, little bit of magic here because the moment I click OK, um, the resizing is going to happen so fast, you're not going to be able to see any difference. Click OK. And you see now this is 4. If I select this line, note, sorry. If I select this line, note this is 4 inches, and apparently nothing changed, but this line is also changing length. So now if I'm applying that to in size, notice it's much, much easier, much, much friendlier. Um, this auto-scaling of the first sketch, actually based on the first dimension in the first sketch of the model, it's something that anyone can use, any SOLIDWORKS user. So is going to provide a huge time saving to the whole SOLIDWORKS community. This is one more reason why upgrading to SOLIDWORKS 2014 is going to save you time and your company money. Thank you.